Hello students, warm welcome to our class. Today we are going to discuss fifth chapter in our grade 10 CBSE curriculum arithmetic progressions. So, in this module we are going to learn what are different sequences and when a sequence is said to be a progression and what are different types of progressions and exclusively what is arithmetic progression and what are the levels that we are going to learn in arithmetic progressions. Right? So, the name of the topic is arithmetic progressions chapter number 5. See here we come across so many number of sequences in the form of aptitude tests as well as uh, you know anal analysis tests and all. So, you will be given a pattern and you will be asked what is the next number in this pattern otherwise what is some fifth number in this pattern or some sixth number in this pattern. See if you observe that definitely uh, in every single number in the pattern followed by a particular rule you can call that rule as a formula otherwise a technique whatever it is. But here we have some sequences some sequences like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. So, this is one particular sequence and like 2, 7, 12 and so on this is one particular sequence 1, 1 by 3, 1 by 3 square, 1 by 3 cube and so on this is one particular sequence like that 1 by 2 comma 1 by 3 comma 1 by 4 comma 1 by 5 and so on this is one more particular sequence like that root 2 comma 2 root 2 comma 3 root 2 comma 4 root 2 and so on this is one more particular sequence and above all one more sequence like 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 8 and so on. So, this is one more sequence. See in every single sequence, every single term of the sequence is followed by a particular pattern, particular rule, particular formula. So, if you can identify that particular formula, then definitely you could say what is the next number in that sequence. Otherwise, after two numbers what will be the number coming back. See these are all different kinds of sequences. In these different kinds of sequences we are going to follow only four patterns only four patterns these four patterns are named as progressions. So, progression is also a particular sequence, but in this progressions we follow four particular patterns according to each pattern they are named as the first one is arithmetic progression, second one is geometric progression, third one is harmonic progression, fourth one is arithmetico geometric progression. But in our grade 10 we have only arithmetic progressions right. So, let us discuss about what is this arithmetic progression is all about and when a progression is said to be an arithmetic progression. So, let me um, introduce you by taking several examples. So, those examples are like I have this special example and one more example and the out of all these there is some special sequence that you can see on the board. This is one special sequence. This sequence is entirely different from all these sequences right. See easily you can say what is the next number in every single sequence for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but coming to the sixth sequence it is little bit different sequence from all the above sequences. So, what is the difference in this sequence let us try to understand this 1 comma 1 comma 2 3 5 8 and so on. So, I think you can guess what is the next number if you identify the pattern. See here 1 comma 1 and then 2 is there and then 3 is there and then 5 and then 8. If you closely observe the numbers in that sequence 1 plus 1 is going to be 2, 1 plus 2 is going to be 3, 
2 plus 3 is going to be 5, 3 plus 5 is going to be 8. Will you be able to identify what is the next number in the sequence? Absolutely. That is 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So, when you are given first two numbers, then the next number will be the sum of preceding two numbers. This kind of sequence is particularly named as F i b o n a c c i Fibonacci sequence. So, Fibonacci sequence is a sequence in which each term is obtained by adding the preceding two numbers is said to be Fibonacci sequence. Of, of course, this is out of curiosity we can learn this kind of sequences. right? Now, coming to the point they are sequences that we are going to discuss a special sequence called a progression and I am going to uh, introduce this sequence by giving some several examples. right? See when you observe the numbers on this board 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and so on and the second sequence is like 1, 4, 7, 10, 13 and so on, 1 comma 1 by 2 comma 0 comma negative 1 by 2 and so on, 0, 0 0.3 and um, see when you have some sequences like 0, 0 0.3 I can form one more number like that. So, the one more number is like when I start with 0, the numbers are like 0 comma minus 2 comma minus 4 comma minus 6 and so on. See these are different sequences, if you observe these different sequences, let us consider any one of the sequence. This is a sequence in which each term is obtained by adding one fixed number to its preceding number. When you see the difference between 5 and 3 that is going to be 2. So, difference between 5 and 7 that is going to be 2, difference between 9 and 7 that is going to be 2. It means if you want to get the next number then definitely you will have to add one 2 to the preceding number. So, when you add 2 to this preceding number you will get 13 and when you add one more 2 to this preceding number you will get 15 like that you can form the sequences. So, similarly here 1 plus 4 is equal 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 again 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 10 plus 3 is equal to 13. So, here each term is obtained by adding 3 to its preceding number and similarly 1 1 by 2 0 minus 1 by 2 and so on. See here the difference between 1 by 2 and 1 of course, this is 1 by 2 means you are adding negative 1 by 2 to 1 you will get positive 1 by 2 it means subtracting 1 by 2, subtracting 1 by 2 means what adding negative 1 by 2. So, here that negative 1 by 2 is being added to every preceding number you will get the next number right and coming here 0, minus 2, minus 4, minus 6 when you add minus 2 to the preceding number then you will get every single term of the sequence. See there is one common rule behind all these sequences, what is the common rule behind? The common rule is every single sequence is obtained by adding a fixed number, what it is? By adding a fixed number to its preceding number, then the sequence so obtained is said to be an arithmetic progression, what do you call that? Arithmetic progression, arithmetic progression. So, what do you mean by arithmetic progression and how do you define arithmetic progression? See arithmetic progression is a sequence, arithmetic progression is a sequence in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to its preceding number except the first number. You should be given first number without knowing the first number you cannot do anything here. So, you should be knowing what is the first number as well as what is that fixed number is going to be added. So, when you know both of them then you can form the sequence that sequence so obtained is said to be an arithmetic progression simply you can write arithmetic progression as 
a dot p dot. So, this is the indication for arithmetic progression. So, this is what the def definition of arithmetic progression, I will write the definition clearly, just have a look on that definition of arithmetic progression. So, arithmetic progression is a sequence, a sequence in which each term is obtained, a sequence in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number by adding a fixed number to its preceding number to its preceding number, but ensure that except the first number except the first number. A sequence in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to its preceding number is called an arithmetic progression, is called an arithmetic progression. See here, we are talking about two things here. What are those two things? 